Hey guys, it's Julia Trigstead. I am just going to do a quick live today um, for those of you that are struggling with measuring out your lean and green. So if you just started, um, we always have like a food scale, um, lots of different kinds of food scales. There's a portable one and we'll, we'll put a couple links in there, but run, do not walk and, and get a food scale before you start. Um, because we want, we want you to lose, you know, that average of 10 to 12 pounds a month. So you basically put your plate on the scale, turn it on, zero it out, so you see everything says zero. So a full lean and green meal has three vegetables and a certain amount of lean protein. So what I do is I have like my vegetable conversion chart um, up on the inside of my cabinet. So what we're doing today is spinach. So as you can see, I got a spinach, I have raw spinach. So there's different kinds of spinach. You could have like cooked spinach, um, but we're doing raw. So doing raw, we're not using this cup because we don't measure anything in cups, but it's good to have that if you're trying to translate a recipe. Um, so you're either gonna choose 30 and we go up to the top and it's grams or 1.06 ounces for one serving of vegetables. So we are going to change this to grams. We're gonna push the unit button until we get it over to grams. So now you can see it says grams. And I am going to take my spinach and I'm gonna keep putting it on here until it says 30. So that's one serving of spinach. Um, I'm gonna do two servings of spinach. So if you wanna do math, obviously 30 times two is 60. If you're not good with math and something's uneven, then you would just zero it out again so the plate isn't being measured and nothing on it is being measured until it says zero and do another 30. So that's 30. So that's two servings of spinach and then I'm gonna do a serving of cucumbers as well. So I'm gonna keep zeroing out my scale so I'm not weighing anything that's on there and I'm going to go up to cucumbers and I have cucumbers raw and I have with peel peel so I'm going to go over here and you can either do it in grams or ounces but I'm going to do 52 grams so I've got some cucumbers here that I cut up and I'm just going to do that until it says 52 So that's 51, 52. It kind of keeps going back and forth. So then the third part of it, I'm going to zero it out again. So I'm not weighing anything on the plate or anything else. So I know I have three total greens right there. And then I am going to go over to my lean conversion chart that I have printed out in my cabinet. And I am going to go over to chicken breast white meat. If I am starting to cook it from raw, I'm gonna start with a 9.1 ounce piece of raw chicken to end up with six. So I need six ounces of chicken. So I'm gonna go back over here where everything's zero and I'm gonna take this chicken breast that I cooked earlier and then I'm going to change over the unit again to ounces. So this is a six ounce chicken breast. So this is a full lean and green meal with the exception of my healthy fat that I still need. So healthy fat is very good for digestion. Your body needs fat, your brain needs fat, um, your metabolism needs fat, um, but we don't wanna ever add too much fat because then our body will start burning the fat instead of the fat that we put into it, instead of the fat on it. So inside my, um, my cabinet, I have got this healthy fats list on page like 18 of your guide, it only has like a small amount, but we wanna be able to have as many things as possible. So work with your health coach on different um, salad dressings that you can use for your healthy fat, depending on if it's regular or not. And you'll see at the very top of this healthy fats list, it has a very handy explanation of what a healthy fat is. So a healthy fat should be about five grams of carbs and five grams of carbohydrates. So if you look at the back of your 
um, salad dressing and it's more than that for two tablespoons, then see if one tablespoon will do it. So there's different things you can use for your healthy fat. Um, work with your health coach on this to understand different things that you could add. You could add like one and a half ounces of, um, of let's see, one and a half ounces of avocado is a good healthy fat. So you see up here, um, you can go to avocado and put one and a half ounces on here. So once again, what you would do if you had an avocado is you would zero this out again, take your avocado out of the refrigerator, put one and a half ounces on it, and you're set. Um, the other thing that you can have with this meal is up to three condiments. So this is your condiment list and at the top of your condiment guide, it shows you what the definition of a condiment is and you can have three of them. So a condiment should contain no more than one gram of carbohydrate per serving. So some things that you know could be a condiment are different spices, things like that. Um, barbecue sauce, you could have like regular barbecue sauce, but you just have less of it if you have low sugar, you can have more of it. Same thing with ketchup, um, hot sauce, honey mustard sauce. Um, it just keeps it all figured out for you so you know what to add. Pretty much any Walden Farms product that you can buy is two tablespoons um, equals one condiment. So it's kind of a lot because um, it doesn't have very many carbohydrates in it. Um, the other thing that I saw that a lot of people are excited about on the condiment guide is that one tablespoon of chopped onion is a condiment or pine nuts you know 20 kernels is a condiment so you know if you can have three condiments that would be three tablespoons of chopped onion so if you're really dying to have like a, a like a scrambled egg kind of thing and using eggs or um, if you're having an omelet guess what you can have onions in small amounts um, just in your condiment section so i hope that this helps somebody today to see what this looks like. Um, this is your whole lean and green meal. Um, you'll need to finish it all, but if you can't finish it at one serving, you could always split it in half. One of them you would have with a fueling and one of them you would have without. So get with your coach to understand how that works. Um, I have a lot of people that just can't eat that volume of food at one sitting. So if they don't finish it at their dinner portion of the day, you know, they could always finish it with their last fueling at night um, if they haven't got their act together with making it earlier. But you have to have all five of your fuelings in one day, that whole lean and green meal up in, and then if you're up for another two and a half hours after that last fueling that you had, you're going to have like another three ounces of lean protein, um, or you could have another fueling. Um, it's kind of up to you. So chat with your health coach and they can help you out with this. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye.